it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to play Great Balls of Fire as recorded by Jerry Lee Lewis on guitar. This is a bluesy song in the key of C that uses a very common blues rhythm pattern. We're going to start out with some walk ups and some walk downs here in first position and then we're going to go into the verse rhythm part and the bridge. I'm going to break it all down for you step by step but before we dive into it I want to hook you up with something right away if you're interested in improving your soloing or your blues playing at the first link down below I've got a free gift for you you can download my book melodic expressions that's all about soloing it's got over a hundred licks and exercises in it and also with that book you'll get some exclusive blues training videos that are not on YouTube that come with tabs and sheet music so if you get value out of my lessons here on YouTube you're gonna get a ton more value out of this free content below all right well with that said let's break this song down let's break down how to play Great Balls of Fire as recorded by Jerry Lee Lewis on guitar. We're going to start off with an eight bar intro that has some walk ups and some walk downs. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we're, we're into the verse there. So this first part has a number of kind of walk ups and walk downs here. We're gonna walk up from the G note to the C note here. So we're going G to C. And that's G, open A, then B, then C. So we'll go. Then we do the same thing down one string. So that's starting on the third fret of the fifth string. Open D, second fret, third fret on the fourth string. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Then we do a little chromatic run here. F up to G. So that's the first fret to the third fret. Climbing up, then you walk down, and then you go G to C again. Okay, so all of that together sounds like this. A one, two, three. Two, three, four, up to F. Two, three, four, up to G. Back down. Two, three, and then to C. Gracious, great balls of fire verse. One, two, three, four. Now for the verse, we're gonna take basically the same progression as the intro, but we're gonna play it with this blues rhythm figure that goes like this. So I'm gonna start with this power chord shape, the third fret on the fifth string, and then the fifth fret on the fourth string. And I have those two notes, I'm gonna go one and two and, and I'm gonna reach up with that pinky and play the seventh fret on the fourth string. Now I'm doing an eighth note rhythm, one and two and three and four and, and on beats two and four is when that pinky's going down. So one and two and three and four and. Then we'll go to F, so the same thing, but down here. On the first fret, then we'll come up to G. Then go down to F. And then we just hit a C chord. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and F. G, F, C, two, three, four, rest, two, three, four. Okay, then we go to the bridge. And this is the, the final section here. Now I just wanna mention one thing. If these chords are too much of a stretch, which, that's, that's a pretty good stretch there. You could always, you know, do something like you could use a capo here on the third fret, or you could just play the chords up higher. You could play them like C here, F here, G here, F. Goodness gracious. So, you know, you, you can play this in different positions on the guitar. I just think it sounds good down here, you know, but it definitely, 
you know, is a little bit of a stretch. Sometimes people will use their index and middle and then do the pinky, or you can do index and ring, whichever is comfortable for you. So one more time, here's the verse chord progression. A one, two, three, four, two bars of C, two bars of the F, one G, one F, then break. One, two, three, four, rest. Two, three, four. Then we go to the bridge. Now the bridge has a couple changes to it. Here's what it sounds like. A one, two, three, four. So what I played is I started the bridge on two bars of F there. So we're going to go one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and then go to two bars of C. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two bars of F. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then G two three four one two three and four and one two three and four and one. Two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, quarter, 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 quarter. So we finished with just four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. All down strums there. So when we get to this G, basically I have this rhythm. I go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and, one, two, three, and, four, and so it's three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three so you're playing on the and a three and and then four and and then you're hitting that one and resting so it's like one two three four one two three and four and one two three and four and one two and four and one two three four, and and one, two, three, four. quarter 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 and just four down strums at the end and then that takes you back to the verse progression, which the verse progression is what's used for the solos. Now, the only thing is when we play the solos, we don't do the break. We don't do the, like the goodness great. We just we just stay on C where that break would normally be. So for the solos, it's basically the verse two times. It sounds like this. A one, two, three, four. So it ends with that rhythm, but on a C chord. One, two, three, and four, and one. Have fun practicing Great Balls of Fire as recorded by Jerry Lee Lewis. I hope you got some value out of today's video. Again, if you get value out of my lessons here on YouTube, check out the first link down below where you can get some exclusive videos that are not on YouTube. These are all about blues guitar, so this kind of information, having this solid foundation is going to help you be able to play so many songs like the songs that are on my channel. So check that out as my gift to you. As always, leave any song requests down below in the comments. Thanks for your support here on the channel, hitting the thumbs up button, subscribing, all that stuff. I really appreciate you all. Keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video.